Hello Cancer, welcome to your January 2021 weekly general read. Um, this read I always um, go with whatever messages spirit wants for you in any areas of your life including spiritual. Please like, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. Leave comments, I love to interact with you guys <clears throat> as well. I've also been doing a more um, focused love reading on the weekends. So if love doesn't completely show up here, which it usually does, um, I definitely, you can always look forward to the week, the weekend ones where I get into love, but look, have faith, have faith this week. All right. Something, something amazing that you've been asking for or been wanting is coming in for you. And everything you need always comes. So your affirmation here, I'm getting a message to tell you to repeat it over and over and over this coming week is that everything I need always comes. Everything I need always comes. So everything you need is coming and you will have a sign of that maybe this week and you'll be reminded of how strong your faith is, okay? And I have divine source here at the bottom. So really, really connecting to source and having faith. That's your strong message. And also the new moon in Capricorns come in on the 12th or 13th. Um, I think it's one of those dates. I'm sorry. But um, it's all about setting boundaries. And maybe the way I'm taking it is to work smarter, not harder. Kind of come back a little bit from working so hard if you're overworking and forgetting about staying connected to faith and knowing that you might not have to work this hard to really truly get it what it is you need. And if it's finances, if somehow, some way, you always find a way and it's going to come in for you in unexpected ways as long as you have faith. So I'm getting here with this divine source message is to, um, Ask for guidance and have your, you know, maybe these intentions that you set on the new moon and Capricorn was where I was going with that, is to ask for guidance and helping you to have faith and remember that everything comes in for you. You always get everything you want. And just ask for guidance and ask your spirit guides to help you trust that they have, you have a plan, they have a plan, and everything always works out for you, okay? So if you are having, if you are struggling with having faith, Set intentions and ask for help. I'm going to put those cards here. Ask divine for help and guide you and reminding you to have faith this week. Your affirmation, again, while I'm trying to get these things to work here, is I, everything I need always comes. Everything I need always comes. All right? So let's move forward, Cancer. Okay, let's see what else we have from the Cancerians. Oh, one more shuffle for my Cancerians. The healing light. Again, so this is just... Um, strengthening what I was just saying spirit eight is your number so if you see eights you know that spirit is around you and is guiding you right now and again set those intentions to really ask um, to have faith and ask that you have trust okay you can ask for guidance if you're feeling a lack and it's down here, a consciousness of lack. If you are feeling like you just don't have it or you're struggling this week for some reason, you can you can always ask guides to just help you have the strength, have the strength to trust. Because everything you need, if you think about it in your past, you've made it this far, everything you need always came through <clears throat> some way or another. And you're really being asked to, to trust your guides right now and really ask them to help you um, strengthen your faith. So if something's really bothering you, it's, it's going to work out for you. And I don't necessarily think, I think this has a lot to do with finances or money right now. I think some of you maybe have been struggling um, to make ends meet. Um, and you're just being reminded here that it will work out. There's a bigger plan. 
Oh, well, that wanted to come out. Fertility and authority. Right, standing in your power. You may have somebody around you. I, always, I this is always my military man too. You have um, thirty four here or forty three can be your numbers as well too. But fertility is abundance. Standing in your power, standing in your ground, and just allowing and knowing and setting boundaries. This is going back to setting boundaries. Maybe you're letting um, others pull you in different directions and you're you're not setting boundaries and and holding let me get clear holding people accountable okay i'm getting holding people accountable and that may be why you may be overworking or overstressing and you really need people to step up and you might you need I, I, why would we say that stop slow down spirit is saying stand your ground and ask for assistance where needed. If somebody needs to own up or, or, or help out or um, or is not, or is in a place of lack, they need to stand up or you step out. You can't support everybody, okay? This message is strong here. And it may, it's holding you back here from this abundance, this, this fertility card. Some of you could be pregnant, okay? But you know, that's always cliche. You know, I'll get the fertility card. Oh, we're pregnant. But there could be a new thought. But I get the um, heart chakra here really, really lightening up. So I get that there's sort of a birth of this new self-love, this new love, this new idea. Maybe you found somebody or you're interested in somebody else. Or maybe you realize that this, you know, th th you're not being fulfilled here because um, of something that's going on in your life is really dragging you down. And you're really... You really want to be this. You really want to stand in your masculine energy. You could have somebody around you. This could be your guide. You could have a strong masculine spirit guide around you that is there and waiting for you to ask. Archangel Michael, waiting, waiting there for you to ask and allow. You have to allow these spirit guides to come in. When you ask, you have to allow and accept their guidance. But they're like standing around you saying, please ask me for help. So that I can guide, I can block and set boundaries here. All these people that are around you, taken from you, taken from you, all these things. Because it's stopping you from having this abundance in your life. It's holding you back. And you work way too hard. I also feel like this Capricorn energy too as well with the new moon. I don't know why I just feel like really, Cap you know, because Capricorn has that devil type really strong, you know, energy, you know. And I just get this strong powerful energy here and i just feel like it's capricorn you know there could be a capricorn in your life or it might be a, like i said a capricorn spirit somebody from your past that's really really watching and guiding over you and, and wanting you to stand in your power and set boundaries there there may be a new clarity or a birth of a new idea um that really that is really sparks your love interest like you really are passionate or really um it really just opens you up to a whole new idea but something's holding you back from it okay but i do see those two cards really wanted to come out you could also have a mother figure i'm getting and a father figure really supporting you right now um, or maybe asking for help from your parents or maybe you are the parents here and you um and there's something going on with your children that maybe they're draining you okay maybe you need to set boundaries with your children i'm getting that as well um, but I do see strong parents here. You know, it's like it's like we're looking at, and it's funny because I didn't realize this, but we're looking at the emperor and the empress here almost, you know, and, and this deck. A divine relationship, a twin flame connection too as well. But you definitely could have a mother or a father presence around you or spirit guides who are motherly, maybe grandparents that passed or, or things like that that are really guiding you right now and really helping you. I really get those strong messages if that's for somebody, but I do feel like it's more spirit related. And I feel like asking with this healing light cancers, I really, there's just so much love and light. There's so much spirit here, but I feel like the highest message here is that you have these strong guides around you and they're waiting for you to ask them for your guidance and help. And they are going to pave the path for you and show up for you and show you the way. Your strongest masculine guide is saying to build boundaries, put your foot down, put your foot down. And your, your feminine energy is saying 
you deserve love and you have so much love around you we are here i am here to guide you to abundance you've been working so hard and you're there's a resistance right there that you need to create these boundaries so that this abundance and all this all this can come in for you okay those are your messages those are your two guides around you if they're physical parents maybe your parents are trying to tell you something and you've been ignoring them for a while and or has something to do with your parents if there's a message there for you for them okay um you know that could be as well but i'm getting all really spirit here strong spirit all right let's get a moon card for the new moon in Capricorn, and then we'll get a romance angel and we'll go right into tarot again those could reflect the twin flame connection you may be um, calling one in, calling your twin in and the guides are asking you to allow allow them to come in and have faith is another message I'm getting Bring love into the situation here at the bottom. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. All right. That's what that manifestation, that's what her holding this um, this globe to here. Just trust in your intuition and hold in your vision. You know what you want. And you're not setting boundaries and guidelines. And people may see you in this light and they are draining you because they need this light right now. And they just they always come to you or maybe rely on you because you are you are very stable and you are the cancerian you're very nurturing nurturing and you have this tendency to maybe over nurture everyone or feel like you are the parent to everybody that is another strong message i'm getting too because cancerians are like that it's like you're the parent you're everybody's parent come back Come back because it's draining you and you have a vision for yourself. You have a vision. You know exactly what it is you want and you're trying to get there and it's like you're sludging through and you have these pulls, these chains of everybody else taken from you that's holding you back and from your abundance and asking your guides to help you cut those chains and release these energies around you that are holding you back so that you can move forward. All right, love. Let's see what the romance angles angles. Let's see if the romance angles have for you. The angels, the romance angels. Lots of angels around you. I love it. I love my angels. One more shuffle. I'm sorry if I bang the cards too much. This is my massage hands, and I just, I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> All right, playfulness playfulness a new energy to recapture romance and allow him you know i'm feeling like i just say i always love when i cut myself off um i feel like you need to do something very playful you're overwhelmed here with responsibility and taking care of everyone and always being everybody's parent that i feel as though um it's time for you to somebody to just come and pick you up and kind of throw you um um, and kind of in, in water somewhere or something or just take you and, and make you laugh make you have fun okay act like a child go out and do something adventurous and let go of everything stop being so serious right now and i have um weddings so again this could involve somebody who's a committed like i said parents earlier people who are married you could be in a relationship it could be you're involved in a marriage right now and you're the person isn't pulling their weight um, or you're just in a commitment where somebody's not pulling their weight. Or, again, I'm getting this message too as well, that there may be just too much on your shoulders as parents. or um, And you need to find some new playfulness, new energy to add some fun to your life instead of focusing so much on finances and overworking. With that new Capricorn in Moon, a new moon in Capricorn, you know, you people, the negative sides of Capricorn is you can work too much and become that workaholic and focus on money, so much money all the time. And it goes back to having faith that what you need will come in for you. And it may be strain in your relationship right now as well, if this relates to you, overworking and just trying so hard to hold things together as they're falling apart. And it's time for you to just freaking let go and go have fun, okay? Go have a little fun and enjoy each other enjoy each other's company 
at the moment. So let's see what Tarot has to say. Let's see what Tarot has to say for my Cancerians. So now Tarot sometimes takes, runs its own, you know, direction, goes in its own direction, but I'm going to try and tie it all together. Um, this does seem like it's a relationship that may have strain in it, if we're talking about love. Um, and I feel like work or like the burdens of responsibility have maybe separated or caused strain or caused some sort of um, maybe lack of communication right now in a love relationship. Overall energy, the four of wands, right? So this is that commitment card. So again, this could also um, involve um, the sun card too, a Leo. You might want to check out Leo's um, reading, okay? Leo had a very, very strong letting go um, intro about allowing everything to come in as well, allowing your manifestations to come in. But so you could be connecting with a Leo, but this is a committed or this relationship that you are in could possibly, you could be married. Like I said, you could be holding back from strengthening the bond to where it could lead to marriage because you're focused so much on um, the, the consciousness of lack and it's getting to you and it's wearing the both of you down where, you know, that playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine. The strain on your relationship with this person could be because the focus is on, it's too much on another area where the focus isn't on building a healthy relationship, a strong relationship. So maybe coming back to basics and just remembering why, why you're in a relationship with this person um, if this is about a couple um, or why you want to be in a relationship with this person, I'm getting as well. So if there's been some sort of separation between the two, maybe going within and asking how this happened, where were we going, you know, where were we putting our energies that just put such a strain on our relationship that um, there may be a lack of communication here. But there's definitely with the Sun card and you have the Ten of Cups. This is a loving relationship and the Star card. So there needs to be some healing here. So I get that there is no, con there is, all right, these are beautiful cards to get, okay? But I get the Four of Swords right here and look, like this is just depression. This is like feeling of giving up. There's a lot of strain in this relationship, whether it's, it doesn't have to be a marriage, okay? It can be just you know you guys have been dating for a while you've been in a long-term commitment or you're missing somebody you've been broken up because you've let the burdens of life get to you so you're separated now okay but this is how you're feeling and you're feeling like you want to give up but these cards here are telling another story these cups are showing that you have the ten of cups the four of wands a marriage a marriage the sun card you know you the light is right here Here's your manifestation. Hold that vision. Hold the vision. But it's setting boundaries and whatever's pulling you back and whatever is weighing you down and has put a strain on this relationship has caused this much pain in this relationship. Is it anything in this world worth feeling this way? If you're feeling this way about somebody, you know, what brought you there? What what took you there? You know, asking your guides, asking spirit for help right now is really important. This relationship needs to heal. You have the star card here and your guides, your guides, this is your guides wanting to come in to help you heal and get through this relationship. Um, I mean, get through this obstacle that you're in right now and heal this relationship. If it's, if you want this relationship to be salvaged, there needs to be some healing strong healing the weight of the world i feel like really took its toll on you this year and took a toll on your relationship and this was a relationship that could have possibly been or turned into a marriage and look again the ten of swords here look the way he's just floating like he's just ready to give up he's like i'm just Wherever, wherever I go now, I'm going to, you know, like he's just ready to drown. It's like the, the, the underworld, the negative subconscious thoughts, this dark water right here is just glue. It's, it's pulling, it's pulling this person down and it, he feels so helpless. He's not seeing, it's like the dark night of the soul. Like you're, you're just in these, you're drowning in negative thoughts. 
unplug the TV, you know, let go of the things that are stressing you out right now because it's getting to a point like this. Whether this is just, you know, um, nobody sees this. Maybe people don't see this on you, but this is your subconscious thoughts. There's no communication right now between the two of you. You could be connecting with a Gemini, but there's been some breakup. There's been some lack of communication. And I think the both of you, look, we have a male and a female here. Masculine, feminine, no gender specific, right? Who are so miserable. The love is 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 drown has been lost because there's been this drowning in fear here and depression and negativity it's separated it broke the two of you up or it's, it's caused a real huge split in this um commitment whether it was you know it wasn't doesn't have to be a marriage but it could have been but there's been a strong split and there was a time when the two of you were considering or you thought of one another as being in a, a marriage together. You have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups here. You have the Twin Flame cards here. Maybe the two of you are going through the dark night of the soul during this awakening, if this resonates. The two of you could be going through this dark night of the soul, which is going to eventually, um, when you lift yourself up and you ask your guides for help and assistance, and you stand back up with the sun card and you move into the light, you ask for this guidance, the two of you will be brought back together. If this is a twin flame separation, the two of you are doing the hard work right now. But everything's weighing down on you and it may be time for some healing because the star card is here. It's a strong message, Cancers. It's a very strong message. It may be that some of you, I'm going to say it again, is you're you're going through what's what's called the dark night of the soul. You may want to look it up. Okay, it feels like it's it's a severe depression. It feels like a depression, but it feels like, you know, it's like the dark before the dawn, or the you know, the darkness before the light, or however, whatever else you want to put it. But you're going through. You're being pulled apart right now, and the weight's coming on. You know, it's it's coming down on you. But you have a strong, there's such a strong, powerful message here of holding your vision and, and asking for guidance and healing, you know, with all this light coming in on you. Because this relationship at one point, the two of you felt like you were going to be together forever. You were working on such a strong bond together. And it's possible to save this with this star card. You could be connecting with an Aquarius, right? There's a lot of air here, but I feel like that's just your mental state. The Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. That's just talking about your subconscious and your mental state. And then Aquarius or Leo. You have strong Leo. I would suggest really watching the Leo read and get you'll have a lot of um, a lot of good advice in that read as well. But right now, right now we have the moon card here, which is cancer energy too, or Pisces. You could be connected with a Pisces or Cancer, right? But, you know, not trusting your intuition here and really there's a lot of fear here, a lot of fear when this, you know, this moon can mean a lot of different things. But for this one, I feel like there's so much mental conflict here. Look at that. The five of swords, mental conflict, all this mental, this air energy. OK, and you have the nine of swords. Look at look at this, like just ready to give up so much stress here mentally and maybe others don't see it but this separation has caused and the both of you the both of you are feeling um this way the weight of everything that you're going through has has um has weighed you down so much that there's a lack of communication and but there will be the ten of cups and the four four of wands here Hold your vision. I'm going to pull this up because this is as far as I'm going to go with this. Hold your vision. Start root healing. Start healing and working on yourself again. You know, start recovering from this. Start pulling yourself back together. Setting boundaries. Setting some new intentions. Holding your vision. Healing. You have the sun card here. You know, standing back up. I feel like standing back up and in, in, into your power. Asking your divine masculine for the energy and the power to find 
and to, to stand back up and have the strength to come back in and, and, um, and heal this relationship. Again, you could be dealing with, you could be connecting with an Aquarius or a Leo and the outcome is, it could be marriage. This could be a twin flame connection, a soulmate connection. It's just the two of you really have to get through what I call the dark night of the soul. If it's part, if it's an awakening, if it's clinical depression, please get some help. I mean, I'm not a clinician. I mean, I, 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 this is, if you feel like it's that bad, things are weighing on you so much, maybe asking for help and guidance from others. Um, as a therapist, massage therapist, working with people, people always come to me and, you know, not just for massage, but it's like everybody talks to me about everything and the weight of the world, I can feel it with people. And it, it started, at, you know, during the quarantine and then people would get depressed, their lives were changing. And then around the holidays, it really took a dive deeper. People really got depressed during the holidays. And then they, and after the holidays, even right now, I was talking to my, you know, my nurse, and even she was saying she sees a decline, it's still even worse. Because now we're going into the darker sides of winter if you're in darker states, right? Need in the sun, maybe some, maybe some, um, you know, some of you are afraid to travel, but maybe getting out there and going to, taking a little trip somewhere where you get some sun. But it's really taken a toll on people. But if this is the dark night of the soul, which is part of the awakening process, the two of you, your twin or your soulmate, and the both of you are really awakening and evolving. And this is what's going to bring you back together um, in, into this this loving, committed relationship that you have, um, that either you once had or you were once working towards or you've been dreaming about and it's finally coming in. Okay, but you can't get there. You can't, you, this state, you don't want to attract anything in this state. You need to build yourself back up um, and find that self-love again and stand back up on your feet to bring that back in. Okay, so that was a pretty powerful message. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go into the extended where I'll take a closer look into your person because this does look like it could possibly be a twin flame connection. But I'm going to take a closer look at your person and see how they're, you know, they're mirroring you. And this read right here, it's clear that they're mirroring you. You're mirroring one another. And this message might not be for everybody. So please understand that. Take what is yours in this, in this reading. Because there's always something for everybody in this reading. But if this is yours and you're mirroring each other, I really want to take a look and see um, and focus on your other person and see what they're really going through and what they're feeling and seeing. So maybe I'll give you some clarification on what's going on in their life and how they or any actions or how they want to work towards this um, in the future or how you may work towards coming together in the future. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much. Please comment down below, hit the like button um, and let me know what you think. Take care, guys.